I absolutely love this shirt because of the design at the back and it's such a simple shirt like in the front and not to mention the cleavage game I'm really feeling that but uh, <laughs> but the front is so simple you see like I don't know if you guys can see that it's so simple but then you turn around and it's like BAM the design at the back I really love it so oh okay I've been away for so long it's like I forgot how to tape you guys help good morning you guys so I'm finally back and I'm able to talk to you guys again and I know that I left for a little while but I do have really good reasons so hang tight oh my gosh you guys How am I supposed to open this umbrella? I forgot to open. I forgot how to open my umbrella. So, I don't know if you guys will agree with me on this, but I absolutely love it when it rains. And it is sure as hell raining right now. <laughs> Hi, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? I totally missed you guys so much. I know I haven't posted in so long. So let's go ahead and do a catching up uh, session, conversation, or whatever. And just have a good time. <laughs> Become a part of the Mayday Choo Choo Train. The Mayday <laughs> The Mayday family. Become a part of the Mayday family. The Mayday Choo Choo Train. I actually quite like that, so I will keep using it. I quite I quite like it a lot, so I don't care what you say. I am going to keep saying it. Um, push the subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Um, and catch me on Snapchat and other social media sites. Small rant on Twitter. I am not really on Twitter. Like I have a Twitter account, but I don't post on there because I feel like I don't have enough to say and like no one's really going to be interested in what I say on Twitter like I don't really have anything interesting to say so I don't really post on there but I have every other social media um, account you can think of so Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat catch the links below okay you guys so um okay you guys so you won't believe where I'm actually headed right now. It's a Saturday morning and I started to do this thing where I, it's, this is pretty bad, but I go and I grab some, like a donut or two from the donut shop <laughs> um, on Saturday mornings. So I try to control myself and not, not go buck wild when I get to the donut shop. I am not, encouraging non-healthy eating because I know everyone gets their feelings hurt these days. I do work out during the week so I do encourage that for um, health purposes but um, I like me a good donut on a Saturday morning so that's what I'm doing. I had to stop posting for a little while because I was going through some things with uh, my YouTube channel and my uh, I'm in the I'm in graduate school in the graduate program and uh, they found out I had a YouTube channel and it caused quite a raucous so I will be sharing that story very soon I'm still in the program everything has been worked out now what did I want to what do I really want to talk about today um, fitting in I was thinking about that this morning you guys I want to talk about fitting in I don't know I don't really feel like I fit in anywhere I know you guys are probably like what does that even mean like you don't feel like you fit in anywhere I just don't I just don't like I feel like so I'm African my parents are African and I was born there but I wasn't even one when we I was barely like so young when we moved to South America and I was there till I was 13. Now I'm here in the United States.
States. So I have like a really diverse background, which I'm really grateful for, but it's like a little bit of several things. And I like things that I feel like, I don't know, it's hard to find people that like the same things that I like. Well, everyone wants to fit in and stuff like that. Whatever. Like, what does that even mean? Like, don't be afraid to be yourself. Okay, that's helpful. You know what I'm saying? You're in school and you want to fit in and you want friends because like everyone wants friends. Everyone wants to fit in. You have some random person telling you, well, don't be afraid to be yourself. Like, all right, yeah, that's helpful. It's not really helpful. I feel like it's not really helpful. It's so general. It's easier said than done. Like, yeah, okay, that's awesome. Um, I'm glad you're comfortable. But how do you really do that, right? And that's the real question is like, how do you really get comfortable with being you throughout the years? My many years on this planet, my many 27 years on this planet. <laughs> it's not about, it's not necessarily about um, forcing yourself to like love yourself necessarily. It's more about it's more about embracing the fact that you have Im imperfections or what you feel are imperfections and just kind of like accepting that and being okay with that and loving yourself regardless of that. So it's not it's not a blanket statement. It's not like, oh, you just got to love yourself. It's more about accepting the fact that not not just you, but everyone has things that they don't like about themselves. Accepting it, embracing it and living in that truth. And those are like the three main steps, I would say. So it's more about recognizing, yes, there are things that I do not like about myself, so what? You know, it's more of an acceptance thing, acceptance of those flaws than it is, uh, yeah, you should just love yourself, you know, you should just love everything about yourself. I think that's ridiculous, like you don't have to love everything about yourself, it's totally cool, there's like so many things I don't love about myself you know and you know it's all good it's all good because I'm not gonna you know I'm not I'm not gonna stop living my life because of that so it's more accepting that there are things that you don't like about yourself and it's okay everyone has them trust me everyone even Beyonce so um, speaking of which you guys side note going to the Beyonce concert I will take as much as I can for you guys I'm not gonna lie, it is my first Beyonce concert, so I don't know. I don't necessarily know if the seats that we picked are gonna be any good or what that's gonna look like, but I will share that experience with you. I just thought about it. I just thought about it and I think I wouldn't have remembered to even bring my like camera with me because I'm not used to filming myself everywhere I go because I don't really feel like I do anything all that interesting but that people would want to see but I will film that because I feel like that's gonna be very very interesting I'm here I would have taped it for you so you could see like the donut store and I could make the video all nice but I actually forgot the tape recorder in the car like I just kind of like dipped out and then before I got home the donut holes were all gone so <laughs> how cute is that design at the back I'm living for it like I'm totally living for it acknowledging the fact that everyone has things about themselves that they don't necessarily like myself included there's a lot of things that I would it like to change and I most likely will. Oh my god, you guys, there's some, there's like an old guy walking his dog out here and he just looked at me so weird because I'm taping a video. I feel like I should wait for him to pass by.
all right he's taking way too long so fuck it okay i was saying i think it's more about acknowledging the fact that everyone has flaws and like everyone has things about themselves that they don't like in particular ourselves like for example i tend to be my own biggest and i'm so tough on myself it's ridiculous and one of the things that i'm i'm not really working on it i'm not gonna lie i haven't really been working on changing it necessarily because i don't think that i need to change this particular aspect of myself but um one of the things that I do do is I'm so harsh on myself and so hard on myself and I place all these expectations on myself that I transfer those over onto other people so I have like I can be harsh on other people as well like if they're not doing something or they're not in school and they keep saying that they want to go to school I can be quite harsh like okay you know what are you doing you know but um but it's about accepting that, right? And just knowing that it is what it is and like just living with the things that you don't like. You don't have to like them, you know? And so I feel like a lot of people nowadays are like, love yourself and you have to love yourself. You don't have to love everything about yourself. <laughs> and if there's something that you don't like enough, then work on changing it or work on be being who you want to be. Um, but that's just my take on it. Um, of course, you guys know that I'm in psychology. So these are the type of things that I am interested in. Um, but yeah, so I will be back with that Beyonce video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's my first Beyonce concert. So if you guys want to see my reaction, <laughs> I don't think it's... I mean, we'll see. I don't really think that it's gonna be that big of a deal. I'm not gonna like start doing backflips. I don't think. I might, you never know. But we'll see. And I will catch that on tape and put that up for you guys. Because I think it's gonna be so much fun. Oh my God, it's so much fun. Ugh. Um, But um, yeah, apart from that, I'm like really glad to be back. It was really hard to in case if you guys didn't notice, I actually did have to put a lot of my videos in private um, while I was going through uh, what I was going through with my graduate program uh, because they had issues with my YouTube channel, with me having a YouTube channel and some of the things that I had posted on my YouTube channel. So I had to like change a lot of those things and put a lot of my videos in private. So now that I I'm done with that I'm really really excited to be back and I will be telling that story and more because I feel like there's a lot that I've been through and so it's like it might be helpful to for you guys to know or you guys would probably just enjoy hearing about it I don't know we'll see we'll see but till next time I love you continue to stay healthy even though I just had like a dozen donut holes and a small kolache but uh, still <laughs> do as I say not as I do just kidding I, I work out during the week so I mean hopefully that counts for something uh, but I will catch you guys later I love you guys Mayday family subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys soon bye love you because you're my only friends. That sounds so lame. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon.